If we wish to understand the concept of homeopathy, it is very essential for us to understand the meaning of each and every aphorism from our organon of medicine. So, in this preview video, let's begin with the very first aphorism from our master himself. The physician's high and only mission is to restore the sick to health, to cure as it is termed. Now, when we read this first aphorism, it seems very easy to understand. In simple words, it means the aim of a physician should be to treat the sick to restore him to a state of health. But, unfortunately, many of us have not understood the meaning of this simple statement. If you wish to understand this aphorism, first, you should try to understand as to what Hanuman meant by the terms sick and cure. Sick. Now, the meaning for this term is entirely different for an allopath and a homeopath. For an allopath, this term refers to anybody where physical changes can be traced, either at cellular level, tissue level, or organ level. To understand this statement better, let's listen from a patient. <laughs> Did you hear it? ECG done thrice, TMT twice, echo and sonography one time each. Still got nothing to give the observed symptoms a diagnostic name? For them, since the results are all normal, they can't consider the person as being sick. But the patient himself feels something is wrong with him. For them, their treatment begins once they have made a diagnosis. 
Until then, they prefer to wait. Wait for the initial signs of derangement in health to become more severe. Wait for changes to occur that can be traced by physical examinations or tests. But by then, there are chances that it may be too late to reverse the changes so occurred. As a homeopath, we need to understand that it's the patient who becomes sick, not his body or any organ. If somebody is having cirrhosis of liver, we have to understand that he is sick. So, he is having a liver cirrhosis, but not the other way around. Now, in such cases, if it's only considered that his liver is sick and treated accordingly, Chances are there that the very underlying cause which has resulted in the cirrhosis may now affect some other vital organ. So a patient who may have visited a hepatologist for such a condition has his GIT affected at a later stage, will go to a gastroenterologist, then maybe to a urologist, then a cardiologist and soon roaming for years and years. So. From this first aphorism, we should clearly grasp as to what Hanman meant by the term sick. It means a state where the patient is not having the feeling of well-being. A state where he is experiencing some abnormal sensations. A state where he feels he is not healthy, either physically or mentally, with or without the presence of physical symptoms. Now, since we have understood the meaning of the term sick, on the basis of that, let's try to understand the meaning of the term health. It may be defined as a state wherein a person has the feeling of internal well-being, a state where he is not experiencing any abnormal sensations either mentally or physically. Now, let's hear from a patient and we shall let you decide whether the patient is sick and requires treatment. अभी आप कोई मेडिसिन ले रही हैं? जी कोलेस्ट्रॉल और बीपी के लिए पिछले तीन साल से आपको याद है आपको क्या तकलीफ होती थी जिसके लिए आपने ये दवाइयाँ लेना शुरू किया था तीन साल पहले जी तकलीफ तो कुछ भी नहीं थी फिर आपको किसने बोला ये बीपी और कोलेस्ट्रॉल की दवाइयाँ लेने को तीन साल पहले हमने इंश्योरेंस के लिए एक हेल्थ चेकअप किया था तो वो डॉक्टर बोले की मुझे हाई बी और कोलेस्ट्रॉल भी थोड़ा ज्यादा है और बेहतर रहेगा अभी से कंट्रोल कर लो ताकि मुझे बाद में कोई प्रॉब्लम ना हो तो आपका कहना यह है कि अगर आपने वो चेकअप नहीं करवाया होता तो आपको पता भी नहीं चलता कि आपको हाई बीपी और कोलेस्ट्रॉल है जी तो फिर आपको ये दवाइयाँ भी नहीं लेनी पड़ती जी पर अच्छा ही हुआ बाद में कोई रिस्क नहीं रहेगा क्यों चांसेस लेना तो आपने अभी उसके बाद कितनी बार अपना कोलेस्ट्रोल और बीपी चेक किया है हर छह महीने में एक बार कराती हूँ लास्ट टाइम जब चेक करवाया था तो बीपी और कोलेस्ट्रॉल कितना था आपका याद है जी बीपी तो नॉर्मल बताया वन थर्टी एटी और कोलेस्ट्रॉल भी काफी कम था पहले जो वन नाइन्टी वन नाइन्टी फाइव रहता था अब वन सेवेंटी के आसपास है चलिए इन वैल्यूज को भूल जाइए थोड़ी देर के लिए और मुझे ये बताइए कि आपको अभी कोई तकलीफ है नहीं वैसे तकलीफ तो कुछ नहीं तो अगर आपको ये कभी पता ही ना चला होता की आपका बीपी या कोलेस्ट्रोल ज्यादा है तो आप किसी डॉक्टर के पास गई नहीं होती शायद नहीं अब जब कोई तकलीफ ही नहीं है तो कोई क्यों जाएगा डॉक्टर के पास नाउ फ्रॉम वॉट यू हैव जस्ट लिसन डू यू फील दैट द पेशेंट इज सिक एंड रिक्वायर्स ट्रीटमेंट राइट देन वी शेल एनालाइज ऑल योर ओपिनियंस एट द एंड बट फॉर नाउ टू एट द कंक्लूडिंग रिमार्क्स टू द फर्स्ट फॉरिज्म इट हैज टू बी क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड वॉट इट मीन्स बाई अ स्टेट ऑफ बींग हेल्दी एंड बींग सिक If we wish to treat a patient, removing the physical symptoms may not always help to cure the patient. A set of such physical symptoms, once removed, may reappear at a different location, either in the same form or modified, making the patient to suffer more. To understand this better, let's watch a presentation. Let's say, for example. If the very fundamental cause of the disease initially affects the liver, it may result in cirrhosis of liver. A hepatologist may be able to remove the physical symptoms affecting the liver, and by doing so, he may claim to have cured the patient too. But the actual cause still remains within the body, 
This fundamental cause may then affect, let's say, stomach, and may result in gastritis. And when treated for this gastritis by a gastroenterologist, he too can claim to have cured the patient by removing the physical symptoms affecting the stomach, but again, the cause still remains. Then, maybe, the heart gets affected so the patient rushes to a cardiologist, then, maybe to a nephrologist, urologist and so on. The patient keeps on roaming from one speciality clinic to the other, as long as the cause remains within the body. If this fundamental cause is removed, its effects automatically disappears. Now, in support of, what we have tried to explain here, let's read from the literature. 